What's going on guys, it's Jake here. And in this video, I'll be going over how to make money if I guess I put in the title 18 to 22, or maybe like if you're just young around my age, and also if you're starting from nothing. So this is a common complaint I actually hear on my channel as well as other channels like mine. And it's basically, you know, Jake, I'm young, like I'm 18 to 22, I don't have a full-time job yet, yada, yada. And I don't make a whole lot of money. How do I get money? And specifically for my channel, a lot of times, how do I get in money to save for investing or save to build up my investment portfolio? And I, I hear a lot of excuses and a lot of reasons why, you know, because some of these are somewhat understandable. Like, let's say you're young, I don't know, you have a kid or something like that. So you have dependents you have to pay for, you know, you live on your own, you have rent, you gotta buy your food, you know, all this stuff. It does definitely add up. And the cost of living, especially in some parts of the US, is not particularly cheap. So I definitely do understand that sometimes money can be hard to come by. And I definitely understand that, particularly from my uh, viewpoints. But either way, I think there are a ton of different ways to make money especially when you don't have any money. And it's not like some BS like Shopify store starting from nothing and paying $500 for some course or something crazy like that or day trading some all that bull crap, nothing like that at all. This is literally just grinding and kind of figuring out a way to make money from nothing. So I think the first and easiest way to have make money when you have $0 at all is literally go back to mom and dad's house, go back to aunt, uncle, grandma, uncle, you know, grandma, I just said uncle three times, uncle, 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 uh, aunt, grandma, grandpa's house, whoever, go to their house, be like, hey, grandma, hey, mom, hey, dad, um, can I sell your old mug that you haven't used for 10 years on eBay? Or hey, can I sell this old video recorder? Or, you know, look around your house or your family's house or your girlfriend's house or whoever it might be and literally look around for things that you think might sell well that they aren't using anymore on eBay. And I think some examples, like I just said, are old electronics. A lot of people, they upgrade their electronics, leave their old ones in a drawer for years to kind of just sit there and collect dust. And same with things like random things like mugs or uh, old ornaments, Christmas decorations, Halloween decorations, things like that. Look around the house, find old stuff that people aren't using anymore from your relatives, from your friends, from your families, and say, hey, you know, if I could sell this on eBay for $10, I will give you five, and something like that. And a lot of the time, especially if it's your mom or dad, grandma, grandpa, they'll just say, yeah, sure, I don't care, get this stuff out of my house, I would love to sell all this stuff. And I think this way is super easy, but, and it really doesn't really cost you anything besides obviously posting it on eBay, but other than that, the cost of that is literally zero. So you might say, hey, Jake, I, you know, I'm an only child, I'm an orphan, the orphanage isn't allowing me to sell anything, what should I do now? And when you're looking at that situation, I think the next best thing to do is head over on to Craigslist Free or Facebook Marketplace and search up free stuff. So if you take a look at Craigslist, if you're unfamiliar with what that is, it's basically just a listing of uh, goods and services that people are trying to sell online. And the same goes with Facebook Marketplace. And obviously Facebook Marketplace is on Facebook. And with both of these, you can actually go to free sections, specifically on Craigslist, there's an exact section in the first sale part that says free. And also on Facebook Marketplace, if you simply just search free, you'll find a ton of different items that people in your area are selling for absolutely free. A lot of the stuff is things they're throwing out like old furniture, or old like baby toys, old clothes, things of that nature that they don't feel like selling. But they want to get rid of and kind of want to let people know in case they're looking to grab them from the curb or simply from their house. And this again is an example that is going to cost you absolutely nothing and also could be a little bit different if you don't want to ask like, you know, your mom and dad or uncle or grandpa, or grandma, if they have stuff around their house that they're willing to sell. And another thing about this as well is I'm sure I'm going to hear in the comment section, you know, Jake, I don't have a car. How am I supposed to drive to these places, you know, these people's houses and pick up this furniture and pick up all this crap? Well, um, take the bus get a ride, rent a U-Haul. I don't really care. Obviously renting a U-Haul costs money and taking the bus could cost a little bit as well. But I am determined and 100% sure that everyone watching this video is capable of finding a ride one way or another from point A to point B, whether it's literally something that costs money like an Uber or a U-Haul or something that's totally free or very cost or very cost effective, like getting a ride from someone else, your friend, aunt, uncle, boyfriend, girlfriend, or taking the bus, which again is very, very cheap if you live in an urban area. Now, now, all of these ways, you know, I feel like, I don't know, I can't carry a table or I can't carry, you know, a baby stroller or whatever I might be trying to sell from these free sections on a bus or whatever. And the answer is yes, you probably can. Like, sure, you might look like an idiot carrying a table on a subway, but, you know, you could laugh at whoever's laughing at you and say, well, at least I'm making a couple bucks from this and you're kind of doing it the grindy way. So those two things are really easy. And also with these as well, I think it's super easy with these free sections on Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace to literally do something as simple as clean off of a table that someone's selling or literally like buff out some scratches on a table or a piece of furniture and try to resell it on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist for a profit. 
And those two ways are really the easiest ways. Now I'm going to continue on to this. I think if let's say you have zero dollars again, or if you have some money, the next way to go and kind of how to build up this money and almost turn this into a mini business is just simply by flipping stuff in the same way that you're doing this. So one really great thing about flipping stuff, uh, one, personally, I think it's kind of fun. And two, it can definitely build up a good like sales uh, ability of yourself, uh, your ability to actually like be able to sell something and negotiate prices, as well as obviously make you money. So some Similar to what I was talking before, if you're unfamiliar with what flipping stuff is, it's literally going to garage sales or thrift stores or flea markets, finding something that's cheap, something that you buy for a buck or less than a buck, and then flipping it elsewhere, maybe on Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, or eBay. And I personally love flipping things now on Facebook Marketplace and eBay because they tend to sell very quickly for me there. And when you're doing this, you know, obviously you need to look for specific items. It's very easy to buy things there that are crap and not worth anything. But over my time, I have learned my lessons and I have definitely done some due diligence and some research and kind of figured out what sells great. Um, some things personally that sell extremely well for me are mugs, hashtag mug life, and that was actually from Gary V. I didn't realize how well mugs sell. And then some other things that have sold really well for me is pretty much anything collectible. So if we look behind me right here, like all these little Pop Funko guys I got lining up and my Black Widow just fell down. All these little Pop Funko guys got lined up. I literally bought like this, or I bought one of them up there, like Hagrid up there for 50 cents at a garage sale. And you can very easily sell them on eBay or Facebook Marketplace for for 10, $15. So collectible stuff, toys, I think actually sell super well, as well as other random things like mugs. I was saying certain books, like college textbooks, if they're in good condition, as well as even clothes. I've seen so many people sell clothes on eBay and Facebook marketplace that they've gotten from thrifting and garage selling. Cause most of the time if you go to garage sale or a thrift store, people are selling even sometimes name brand designer clothes for like a dollar or less than that. If they're like kind of old sweatshirts or things of that nature. But other than that, guys, really for this video, um, definitely let me know in the comment section what you think. Uh, I think it is definitely possible if you have zero dollars or very little money to make some money and even in a way create a small little business. And also definitely let me know in the comment section if you'd be interested in a series that I'm considering doing that I kind of did in the past called Flip Life, where I literally show you and document me going to garage sales, going to thrift stores, and trying to flip things for a profit online. Uh, so definitely let me know in the comment section if you'd be interested in that. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.